guys, it's Emily and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a look on this gold cut crease that I did. I'm sorry that my last video was really low quality and that I missed me doing my eye makeup. But when I was filming, you know, the only part that was cut out was right after I did my nose contour all the way to when I did my eyeshadow. And then I had cut the camera off when I applied my eyelashes and mascara but yeah I hope you enjoy this video this is the first video I am doing where I'm talking and I did use all shadows from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette this is my favorite palette so I definitely had to do a video featuring it I love Jaclyn Hill and I love Morphe so this is my dream palette so I love it so yeah, I hope you're enjoying this video, and if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Bye! Okay, so before I start my makeup, I am going to pin my hair back because I hate when it's in the way when I'm trying to apply all my face makeup. So I'm just going to take two little clips and just pin the sides back to get it out of the way. So for my primer, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I just started using this. And I've used it a couple times and so far I've really liked it. Now for foundation, I do use the NARS Sheer Glow. And I'm in the color medium too, but I do feel like this is kind of light for me. But I do put a lot of bronzers and different powders on that will darken it up a bit. So I do, as you can tell, have a lot of acne. So we're going to go ahead and cover it all up. So I start on this side and I start on my cheeks because that's where I do have the most acne and I feel like I want to cover up that first. So I just tap the foundation into my skin. You don't want to smear it. You don't want to rub it like that because it'll just take away product and you won't get the full coverage that this foundation has to offer. So I have the foundation on now and I am going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Light Medium. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that under my eyes. I'm going to take the flat side of my beauty sponge and just go ahead and blend that all in. Blend it all in. So to set my under eye and my lids, I usually use the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. But today I am going to be trying the Milani Translucent Banana Powder. I'm not going to be baking with this powder, but I'm going to be taking it on this Milani brush. That's supposed to be a blush brush, but I'm going to use it because I feel like it fits pretty well under my eyes. So I'm going to take some on the brush and just press it into the skin. I'm going to apply that a little bit on the other areas where I did put the concealer down. And so for the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the color Medium. I'm going to be applying that on this really dirty Real Techniques brush. Because I've had this brush for a super long time. Used and abused, but I love it. So I'm lightly dust it over my skin. So now that everything on my face is set, I am going to be taking the Milani Make It Dewy setting spray. I really do like their setting sprays. I feel like they work really well and they're super cheap, which is crazy. So for my next step, I'm going to be using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color brunette. Actually, let me zoom you guys in. So right now my brows kind of look a little 
messy and a little uneven. But I'm gonna go in with my concealer and a little brush and just go ahead and clean them up. Okay, so now that my eyebrows are done, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my bronzer. And for my bronzer today, I am going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in the color medium slash deep. And for my brush, I'm gonna be using the powder slash bronzer brush from Milani. And for my contour, I am going to be using the Anastasia Contour Kit in the color light to medium. And I am going to be taking these two shades right here and mixing them together. I'm going to be taking that on this Real Techniques brush right here. Now I'm going to contour my nose with those same shades. and then just taking this little random elf brush, I'm just gonna buff it out. And now for blush, I'm gonna be using the same palette I used from the first video, and that is the Milani Floral Fantasy Blush Palette. And, but I'm gonna be using the last shade. And I will take that on the Milani Kabuki Fan Brush. Obviously this looks crazy, so I'm going to blend it out a little bit. And for a highlight again, I'm going to go in with the Milani product. I'm going to use the Trio palette in the color Rose Glow. But I'm going to take this middle shade. You can tell I use this palette way too much. But I like it. And then I will just take a smaller little pointed brush just to do my nose. Now for my eyeshadow, I will be using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. This is my favorite palette ever. Just look at the colors. So pretty. I love this thing. So first, I'm going to use my Morphe A23 brush and I'm going to be taking this mustard color. Go ahead and apply that in my crease. And then for the next shade, I'm going to take the color right next to that. And I'm going to be using an It Cosmetics brush, but I don't think there's a number on it. It just looks like that. And I'm going to go ahead and just blend those two shades in a little bit more. And then for the next color, I'm going to take the shade right next to that one. And then with this shade down here, Use the last shade to blend it out a little. And then just to ensure all the shades are blended, I'm going to take that first mustardy color and just use that and blend a little bit more at the top. I am going to deepen it up just a tad bit more with this brown shade down at the bottom. I'm gonna be applying that 
with this tiny little Milani brush. Just blending that in slightly with the last brown shade. And I am going to go ahead and do the lower lash line before I cut my crease. I'm going to be mixing those three, those first three brown shades and just smoking out my lower lash line. And with that tiny brush we used for the lash shade, I'm going to be mixing those two dark brown shades together. I'm putting that closure to the waterline. And then with my E23 brush, I'm going to take that mustard color layer that was in our crease and just blend all those colors. And now to cut my crease, I am going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color 5. And it's pretty white. And then this tiny little brush. These brushes, by the way, that I've been using that I haven't really mentioned where they're from, they are from Amazon and I got them in this pack and they were super cheap. But some of the brushes actually aren't that bad, so I will link them in the down bar. And then I'm taking this flat brush and I'm gonna be using that to apply this gold shade right here. Now to make the eyeshadow on my lids pop a little bit more, I'm gonna take the Maybelline Make a Doobie Spray there and from that Milani palette that we used to highlight I'm going to take this first shade right there just pack that on the brush and then after you pack it on just spray it and then you can go ahead and I'm just going to apply it to the center of the lid And with that same shade that we just packed onto our lid, I am going to use that to highlight my brow bone. I'm going to be using the brush that I used to highlight my nose. Brow bone. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of that highlight in my inner corners. So I'm going to add a little bit of black in my waterline and I'm going to use the Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner. And then for lashes, I'm going to go ahead and apply these Ardell lashes. Now for my lips, I'm going to start with the Milani Liquid Lip Color in the color Tenderness. I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to go ahead and just apply that straight on the lips. Then on top of that, I'm going to be taking the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in the color Prismatic Peach. I'm going to just apply that in the center of my lips. And then to set all my makeup, I'm going to go ahead and take the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Thank you for watching this video. Comment down below other types of videos you'd like to see from me and I'd be happy to do so. All products that I did use will be in the down bar as well as all my social media links. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry if I was a little awkward talking to the camera. I've never talked to a camera like this before but as I make more videos I'll get more comfortable. So yeah that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.